Hello everyone, today we're going to be adding some additional Dreamcast games to Mad Little Pixel's Hyper Kai image, 128GB image, lovely image. Some of you want to add a couple more Dreamcast games, and eventually it will look like this. We're going to add Metal Slug. Metal Slug doesn't have any artwork. We can get that later, but I also did it with Street Super Puzzle Fighter 2, which doesn't come on this image. We are adding a game. I'm showing you how to add, make sure the artwork shows up and the snap video is below. This is gonna be the finished product, so come along. What we wanna do next is go on our computer and get the games that we want. Now that we're on our computer, we're just in uh, any sort of browser is fine. Go to arcadepunks.com. I'll actually put a link in this in the description as well, and there's have a whole place for Dreamcast ROMs right there. And uh, I, for the most part, a lot of these do work. Uh, the two ROMs we downloaded for this video was Metal Slug, the original here, and we also did Super SU, where is SU? Super Puzzle Fighter 2. Um, I recommend this one, it does run. I do not necessarily recommend Metal Slug, it does not run very well. And you can see that later in the video. But you can download them here. Another option for you is MU Paradise. Just go to, you know, ROMs, ISOs, and then go to the Dreamcast section, and you'll be able to get them, um, get them there as well. So for this video, I downloaded them for, um, through Arcade Punk, so I got Metal Slug here. It comes in a in a dot seven zip, so you either got to WinRAR or unzip those or seven zip them, and you should get a dot CDI file that comes out. As you can see, it's a big file, 672 megabytes for Metal Slug. And if we go back, we have Super Puzz Fighter 2 um, as well. Now, um, in order to do this, what we do is we want to access our Pi. So we have our Pi on right now. And uh, when your Pi is on, you should be connected to the Wi-Fi. And once you're connected to the Wi-Fi, your Pi should come up as a device. There it goes, right to Pi. And now we can access our Pi and go into ROMs. And I'm just going to go over to Dreamcast. And remember, you do have to unzip them. You don't. You can't just put them directly in there. So if it's not working, you probably didn't unzip them. I went way too far. It's just under D for Dreamcast. And as you can see, I've already transferred them. So I have Metal Slug. And Metal Slug comes in that weird name. You know, it's got that name. So does, um, and then Super Puzz Fighter here. It's, it's, it's English RDC. But as you can see, what I did was I changed on Super Puzz Fighter. I actually changed it to Super Puzz Fighter 2. Because if you look in here, I'm sorry, in here, wheel artwork, and you go down to Super, they already have um, the image file for that game, which is the, the logo. So you just want to make sure that this file is the same as that. So what I do is I copy this because this is the correct, if, as long as it matches this, and then I go into here, and then I change this to that. Keep it as a .cdi, but now when you transfer it, it should use up the artwork that's already on this image. There's already the artwork and the snaps on the image, so you don't have to go out and find that. And so that's going to save you a lot of time and make it just perfect the minute you boot right up. So that's how you do it. Just get the ROMs, make sure the file name's correct, make sure it's a .cdi, drop them in, and then go ahead and go back into your Raspberry Pi. So after you've gotten the games that you want, you just want to hit the uh, left uh, trigger button, and that should take you into the configure, or you can press tab on a keyboard if you have a keyboard hooked up. Go to emulators, and we're going to go down to Sega Dreamcast, because we've added those games at this point. But now we need to scrape the games and make sure that our attract mode go to Sega Dreamcast. And what we're going to do here is just generate collection ROM list. And what this is going to do, we say yes, and it's just checking for new games, seeing what kind of games are in that ROM, in the list of games, and it will then scrape them and add them. It's that easy, now those are added. So now we can just go back, 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 and we're back in a track mode. Let's go up to Dreamcast. Eventually we'll get there, I promise, there we go. Now we're in Sega Dreamcast, and there we go. We have Street, Street Super Puzzle Fighter, I wanna keep saying Street Fighter, because I see Ryo over there. Super Puzzle Fighter 2, and we also added Metal Slug, the original. So just to get started, let's start with Puzz Fighter 2. All Dreamcast games load up in the time and date screen. That's just how this emulator does it. I love this game because look at this warning. I bet they have issues. Staring at a TV screen for too long is bad for your eyes. Please take 10 to 20 after 10 minute, 10 to 20 minutes breaks. Yeah, okay, sure. Okay, 
So you have arcade mode, which is like crazy. You get to pick your characters. So this game runs really well. I see no lag whatsoever. Yes. Fight. Wow, that's a bad description on my part. I don't quite understand. I do not want to do that. Nice, nice, three chain, baby! You saw that Hadouken? Nice. No. How oh, did. There we go, there we go. They're dead now. Oh boy. Woo, dog it! Alright, and remember on the Xbox 360 controller is just the middle button to exit you out. And there you are. Now I do have some disappointing news for you at this point in the video that Metal Slug does not run very well. And this is you're going to come across with a lot of games like Crazy Taxi, games like that. I'll put a link in the description. I did do a compatibility list that's been out there for a little while. Maybe some of the games have changed, so don't take it for like a 100% it's fact. But I might use that as a general gauge to see if um, the game you want to play is playable or not. You're well done. Oh, did not mean to jump, but look at that sky. It's lightning. It's just lightning. A fish. Kill a helicopter and call it a day, huh? Oh, I think if I get this guy, there's some rocket fun. There's actually a better gun to kill a helicopter. Got my letter. Okay, and again, middle button. For those people that don't have hyperspinner or track mode, all you would do with Emulation Station is all the same. You would just put them in that ROMs directory and you would just restart Emulation Station and you should see the games auto populate. It's much easier in Emulation Station. It's not worth me making a video. It's simply dragging and dropping the ROMs just like you saw and restarting Emulation Station so that the ROMs will then appear. All right, so there you go. We added a couple games to Dreamcast. We got the art to work. Everything's working great. These games can be really large, as you saw, so that really is a limiting factor on here. Um, you know, I imagine it's going to get better over time, so we just kind of kind of wait for that. But if you did want to add a few more, there's a certain game you wanted. This is how you do it. If this was helpful to you, give this video a little thumbs up. If you have any questions, comment below, and we'll see you on the next one.